Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. We're outdoors today. I'm going to show you how to yank a T-post up real quick, how to hitch, hitch it with a chain. Make it uh, pop right out of there. All right, we're over here with the tractor. Got the chain right there. There's the end of it. All you're going to do is just throw you two two little hoops on this on this uh, T-post right here. Just, just toss you one little link in there like that. And then one more, just like that. See, there's two of them down there, little half hitches. Just drop the chain. That ought to get a bite on it. We're just going to raise it on up. See there? That's all there is to it. All right. Before we take the forks off the tractor so we can use the bucket i gotta go over here and check and make sure we need a bale of hay for these babies and it looks like we probably ought to put one out i mean that's another day or two probably well about another day so we're gonna go get the forks off let me show you another little trick when you're putting this hay out you see these little erosion spots in the, I hope you can see that good. So you'll have little erosion spots or little dips in the ground. Let's see where it's going downhill right there. You put your bale right there and kind of slow that water down. They're getting the grass, the hay out of there, and then you're getting erosion control. And eventually when it composts, you get some grass growing through there. All right, see over here by this tree, I've got a, a little erosion right here going on by this oak tree. And uh, so I'm just going to stand my bale up like that and let them eat. Normally, for, they'll eat from the top down. And uh, then I'll have to come get the strings out of the way. But they're usually, silver dog gone. Leave them alone. Then they, they usually, uh, you know, I, I get this, they eat most of it without trampling all over it. And, uh, uh, it's a good way to save on hay. I don't use the ring and all that. And later on, I'll probably get some cradles or make some. Not get some, but buy, build some, not buy. Shoo-wee! That grass good, babies? Yeah! Let's go over here and see how this grass tastes. Y'all like that hay? Woo! All right, so there's the forks. They're coming off the bucket. They don't have no quick a change kind. So uh, I figured when I bought these, I should have measured, but this works real well. And I, I, I got these forks pretty cheap, so I'm not gonna complain. I just got them hooked up with a chain right there and then get them out the way so I can use the bucket to spread some of that compost where we're going to plant potatoes. Yes, sir. Then we got to hook up the little plow on the back. All right, let me show you down here in this ditch right here. Let me get down here and show you this ditch. See all that erosion right there? It's right in through here. But it's just a natural, this is the way it, it rides. So I put the bales down here. Got two of them in this ditch this time. And, uh, you know, that'll slow the water down and, and eventually help with the erosion whatever they leave behind and that's that's why i keep them them strings on there too so that they you know they don't tear up the bale so bad let me show you this other side you see and and the bale's still right there no ring or nothing but but you got to remember to get the strings out but anyhow i figured i'd show you that so, hey, yeah, we're done with the hay talk. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe.